Hi, my name is Akiva Goldman, and I'm an attorney with Goldman and Associates, and today I'd like to talk to, about the qualifications to receive spousal support, or what we used to call alimony. There are multiple things that the court can take into account when it determines whether to award spousal support, because remember one thing about divorces, the court always looks to fairness and equity to determine that. So the court has broad discretion because of uh, that fairness, that equity component. Having said that, you want to look at three basic factors when you determine spousal support. Number one, length of the marriage. Um, a longer marriage is a marriage where it's more likely for the court to consider spousal support. So a 30-year marriage is, is going to get much more careful scrutiny on the issue of alimony than will a two-year marriage. So the length of the marriage is one. Number two, the disparity of income between the parties. Does one party make much more money than the other? So even if they have a long marriage, which might support alimony, if both make the same amount of money, it wouldn't necessarily be an alimony case, even though it's a long marriage. If they made the same amount of money, the question would be, who's going to pay who? So, and that's probably a situation where there wouldn't be. And number three, is there disposable income available to pay the alimony? So for example, if you have long-term marriage, one person makes way more than the other. So you got those first two factors in, but the parties live so high on the hog. <laughs> they live basically check to check because even though there's a lot of money and it's long-term marriage, they spend everything. So there's no money left to allocate to alimony once all those debts are maintained, once all those bills are paid. In that circumstance, the court might look at this and say, look, this person's going to pay all the debts, so there isn't going to be any alimony. The court has the discretion to do that. Now, having said that, there are sort of sub-factors to those factors. Um, so the court has to look into these things. But those are the basic thing that the court's going to look into to determine whether or not an award of alimony is appropriate. If you have any questions about that, reach out. And of course, we'll be glad to help you out. If you found this helpful, please like, comment, and share.